Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Sabre leather jacket and jeans. RST's Sabre leather jacket and jeans combination is new for 2021 and I reckon this setup is going to be a massive hit. It's got a sporty cut that suits laid back riding as much as head down hacking and it has all the hallmarks that have seen RST grow into such a popular brand over the last 20 years or so. It's made from cowhide with comprehensive stretch panels for maximum flexibility and it delivers proven protection as it's rated to the triple A level of the CE safety standard, that's the highest level there is. That main construction of cowhide has small perforated areas at the shoulders and also to the rear at each side and the leather is complemented by accordion stretch panelling above the elbows, also down each side of the torso and then again behind the shoulders. It gives plenty of expansion room and also frees up movement on the bike. I used this suit on a couple of different sports bikes and also on my FZ1 Phaser and it allowed loads of movement without any restriction at all. There are inserts of stretch material inside the arms for even more comfort while riding and then neoprene trims at the collar and also at the cuffs. Plastic shoulder protection on the outside comes from RST's experience in racing and it reduces friction buildup as well as adding extra slide protection. The RST logos on this jacket and jeans combo are also much more restrained than on their race orientated designs which really suits my preference and also I think that's much more suited to road riding and they also serve a practical purpose as they're light reflective for extra safety on the roads at night. Pockets on the outside are the usual hip pockets that you'd expect from a jacket like this and there are also a pair of internal pockets in both the main shell and also in the removable thermal liner so you'll have two pockets regardless of whether you're riding with the liner in or out. Fit adjustment is done by simple velcro waist tabs over the accordion stretch panel here but in reality those stretch panels do all the work of keeping a close fit so those are a little bit redundant in my experience. RST have always had a reputation for finding a fit that suits the shape of riders here in the UK and this Sabre feels no different. I took a size 40 inch jacket which is exactly as I would normally wear and I could still fit a thermal mid layer underneath this jacket as well as keeping in the thermal liner. That thermal liner which covers just the torso which means you've always got flexibility in your arms also did a really good job of keeping me warm when it was just chilly outside but when it went from chilly to actually cold which was somewhere around 7 degrees celsius I was glad I had the room inside for that extra layer. Also on the inside the Sabre comes with armour for the shoulders and the elbows which meets the basic level 1 of the CE standard. There's no back protector as standard but the insert from RST costs less than 20 quid so it's not a big deal to buy one and anyway I think a lot of riders who go for this jacket will wear a standalone back protector with it. The jacket connects through a full length zip to the matching Sabre jeans which I also wore as part of this review and I found they also fitted me perfectly in terms of width and length. I took a 32 inch waist and a regular leg just as I would in normal trousers though it is really handy to have the choice of different leg lengths which makes those trousers much more versatile. The trousers come with decent knee sliders supplied and they have both knee and hip armour that meets level 1 of CE. Hip armour is often a bit of an uncomfortable afterthought that I found in these trousers, it worked really well, I could fit it in comfortably and it didn't restrict my movement on the bike. Like the jacket, the trousers meet the triple A level of CE, so you know you're getting track levels of protection for something that's ideally suited to road riding. The Sabre jacket costs £249.99 and the trousers are £199.99, so for 450 quid, you're getting a great combination of comfort and protection. It's also worth pointing out that the Sabre jacket will soon be available with an airbag integrated inside it. That's the in and motion airbag, which uses onboard sensors to detect when you're crashing and it'll inflate a cushion of air around you to protect your upper body. Where other manufacturers have their airbags as separate vests to wear inside their jackets, RST are integrating them. So you'll only have to put on the jacket to get the airbag as well. The RST Sabre airbag jacket, when it launches, will cost £399.99, so that's £150 more than the non-air version that you see here. There's also the cost on top of that of subscribing to the electronic kit that runs the airbag, which is around another £100 a year. Once the airbag version is launched, we'll add a link to it in the description for this video. And also, if you're looking at this jacket and thinking, if only that was made of textile, then you're in luck, as the RST Sabre textile jacket is also coming soon. 
Once we've made a video on that jacket, we'll add a link to it in the description for this video. I hope that tells you everything there is to know about the RST Sabre leather jacket and jeans. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.